13. 13 is a 2003 teen drama film directed by Katherine Hardwick, written by Hardwick and Nikki Reed, and starring Holly Hunter, Evan Rachel Wood, and Reed with Jeremy Sisto, Brady Corbett, Deborah Kara Unger, Kip Pardue, Sarah Clark, D.W. Moffat, Vanessa Hudgens in her film acting debut, and Janika Carey in supporting roles, loosely based on Reed's life from ages 12 to 13. The film's plot follows Tracy, a 7th grade student in Los Angeles, who begins dabbling in substance abuse, sex, and crime after being befriended by a troubled classmate. 13-year-old Tracy Freeland begins the 7th grade as a smart, mild-mannered honor student at a middle school in Los Angeles. Her divorced mother, Melanie, is a recovering alcoholic who struggles to support Tracy and her older brother, Mason, by working as a hairdresser. Melanie is too busy and occupied with her fellow ex-addict boyfriend, Brady, to notice Tracy's increasing depression. On the first day of school, Tracy encounters Evie Zamora, the most popular girl in Tracy's school, after being teased by Evie's crew for her cabbage patch clothes. Tracy is mortified and decides to shed her little girl image. At a store owned by Melanie's friend, Tracy happily finds trendier clothes as Melanie offers a few dollars in change as payment. Tracy wears one of her new outfits to school and catches Evie's attention. Evie invites Tracy to go shopping on Melrose Avenue in Hollywood, but gives her a fake phone number to prank her. Nevertheless, Tracy determinedly shows up on Melrose Avenue and meets with Evie and her friend Astrid. Tracy is uncomfortable with the two shoplifting and excuses herself to sit outside the store on a bench. When a distracted rich woman sits next to Tracy, Tracy takes the chance to steal the woman's wallet, which impresses Evie and Astrid. The three go on a shopping spree with the stolen money and Tracy and Evie quickly become friends. Evie introduces Tracy to her world of sex, drugs, and crime, much to Tracy's delight. Evie tells Melanie that Brooke, her adult cousin and guardian, is out of town for two weeks, and Melanie agrees to let her stay at home with Tracy. While staying there, Evie discovers that Tracy regularly cuts herself to cope with stress. Although Melanie sees a change in Tracy's behavior and worries about the extent of Evie's influence, she cannot find a way to intervene. Melanie attempts to send Evie home, but reluctantly lets her stay after Evie claims her guardian's boyfriend is physically abusive. As Tracy and Evie become closer, Tracy increasingly shuts Melanie out of her life. Evie and Tracy move on to ever more dangerous activity, each egging the other on. The pair attempt to seduce Tracy's neighbor, Luke, a lifeguard in his early 20s, and ditch a family movie night to get high on the streets in Hollywood. Mason is shocked when he bumps into Tracy wearing sexualized clothing, including thong underwear, but Tracy dismisses his concerns. Later on, the girls take turns inhaling from a can of gas duster for electronics and become so intoxicated that they start hitting and punching each other. Melanie attempts to break the girls' friendship by sending Tracy to live with her father, a preoccupied businessman, but he refuses 
claiming to be too busy after Evie's stay extends over two weeks. Melanie unsuccessfully attempts to contact Brooke and then visits Brooke's home with Evie and Tracy. They find that Brooke was hiding because of a botched plastic surgery. Evie asks Melanie to formally adopt her, but Melanie refuses. Tracy meekly supports her mother's decision. Angry and hurt, a tearful Evie storms off. Later at school, Evie turns her friends against Tracy, and Tracy slowly begins to realize the negative effects of her lifestyle when she is told that she will have to repeat the seventh grade. While walking home from school, Brady offers Tracy a ride and takes her home, where Melanie, Evie, and Brooke are sitting quietly in the living room waiting for her. Brooke, having been convinced by Evie that it was Tracy who was the bad influence, confronts Tracy about her drug use and stealing. Outraged, Tracy insists that Evie was the instigator, but the skeptical Brooke refuses to listen and announces that she is moving Evie to Ojai to keep her away from Tracy. While Melanie defends Tracy's innocence, Brooke pulls Tracy's sleeve up to show her self-harm scars. After a screaming match, Brooke and Evie leave. Tracy weeps in Melanie's arms and attempts to fight against her mother's embrace. She tearfully pleads with Melanie to let go, but Melanie persists and the two fall asleep together on Tracy's bed. The last scene shows a dream sequence of Tracy spinning alone and screaming on a park merry-go-round during the daytime. Evan Rachel Wood as Tracy Freeland. Nikki Reed as Evie Zamora. Holly Hunter as Melanie Freeland. Jeremy Sisto as Brady. Brady Corbett as Macy, Mason Freeland. Deborah Kara Unger as Brooke LaLanne. Sarah Clark as Birdie. Vanessa Ann Hudgens as Noel. Kip Pardue as Lifeguard Boy Luke. D.W. Moffat as Travis Freeland. Janika Carey as Astrid. Felices Estrada as Rafa, Sarah Blakely Cartwright as Medina, Jasmine D'Angelo as Kayla, Tessa Ludwig as Yumi, Cynthia Enninger as Cynthia, Charles Duckworth as Javi,